A new bill in the Tennessee House of Representatives could prevent people using food stamps for things like candy and cookies. Alana LaFleur shows us what some community members think of that proposal. In Tennessee, more than a million people depend on benefits from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program to put food on their tables. And now Representative Sheila Butt from Maury County wants to make changes to the program. Known as Snapper Food Stamps, Representative Butt introduced the bill that would stop people from using benefit cards to buy foods high in calories, sugar, and fat. Some people in our area think it's a good idea. Milk and food items is fine. That's what they're for, just to sustain life. All this other is extra stuff. Well, it's a two-way street, you know. It's a good idea health-wise, but a lot of people, you don't want, you know, anyone telling them what they should eat or what they shouldn't eat. The bill says food without any nutritional value would be blocked. So people would not be able to use their benefits for things like soda, ice cream, cookies and cake. Walter Little says while he supports eating healthy, he understands why some people might not support the bill. I'm 69 years old, but I, you know, I jog, I work out and I try to eat healthy. And this is my belief, but I would hate to force my ideas on someone else. Representative Bunn also proposes establishing a list of banned foods. That would be made with help from the Department of Health and Human Services. All the public pays for food stamps, and I think there ought to be rules on it. They have to be. It just can't be wide open. If the bill becomes law, it will take effect in July. In Chattanooga, Alana LaFleur. If, snores or, if stores or SNAP recipients were to violate the law, they would have to reimburse the federal government. They would also face fines up to $5,000.